our world is truly getting more corrupt and more evil. As stated in the book of Daniel, that the evil of man will become more apparent. The wicked will act wickedly, also in the lives of the chosen people. It is actually far from the standard that God desires. The standard that God desires is the life of Jesus himself. Anything less than that is not a true Christian. That is why we have the title or status of Christian. Therefore, it is very important to understand the meaning of the teachings of monotheism, which bring us to the awareness that we can all achieve perfection, like the Father, similar to Jesus. Jesus is the firstborn who wears the life of the Son of God, or the first one called the Man of God, which has never been achieved by anyone. Jesus is able to act always according to God's thoughts and feelings, according to God's will. And this is the model of a human being that should be built in the life of an individual, according to God's original design, creating a human being in the image and likeness of him. But unfortunately, many people do not understand and fail to understand this. Assuming that the standard life as God wants is a standard that cannot be achieved, impossible to impose. In fact, it should not be so, because people think that a life like Jesus is impossible to achieve. People do not have the passion and effort that is appropriate to achieve the life that God wants. Jesus' life was an extraordinary life, but it is also incomprehensible to ordinary people or people who live normal lives. In the past, Jesus' life was rejected by his environment and the lives of Jesus. Disciples were also rejected by their environment. Just as Jesus was considered crazy, Paul was also considered crazy. If our lives today really want to be like Jesus, it is not impossible that we will also be considered insane. But when people consider us insane, that is when we are reasonable before God. If our lives are truly in accordance with God's will, come on in the rest of this life. Let us struggle earnestly to achieve a true, normal, reasonable Christian life in the eyes of God. The more we wear a true Christian life, the more we will be seen as people with schizophrenia, a severe mental disorder that usually affects a person's behavior and emotions and communication with others or in social interactions. In the world of psychology, people with schizophrenia are seen as having hallucinations, delusions or chaotic thinking. And of course, this will affect their behavior. There will be changes in behavior. A person's repentance will cause them to have a deviation in their thinking. In Christianity, the word repent uses the word most often metanoia which is a change in mindset. If repentance in religions in general, also in Judaism in, Hebrew uses the word shub, or turning from not doing the law to doing the law, from not being devoted, not being devoted to Elohim Yahweh, returning to serving Elohim Yahweh. This is religious repentance, Jewish religious repentance. As we can read in the Old Testament, the city of Nineveh repented in one day, it was finished. But in Christianity, this change of mind does not happen in one moment. It is not marked by one point, but is linear like a long line Ram 12 to 2. Listening to the word every day makes a person experience repentance, a change of mind. So it is said that man does not live by bread alone, but by Evarirama the word that comes from the mouth of God that gives life. From thismetanoia, paranoia, paranoid, thought deviations. Like people with schizophrenia, a severe mental disorder that can affect behavior. So it is not surprising that if we seek God earnestly, putting the kingdom of God first, we are seen by people who love the world as schizophrenics. They cannot understand why we are like that because repentance after repentance must affect our behavior. 
and the changes in our behavior must be increasingly contrasting day by day. It cannot be fellowshipped anymore, because the more contradictory, the more it collides with the way of thinking of the children of the world. Our behavior is a noble behavior, and the world cannot understand. What used to be explosive, angry, is now calm, can control and master ourselves. Because if we wear the mind of Christ's feelings, we can determine when to be angry, when not to be angry. Even if we are angry, it is holy anger, constructive anger, which builds. It is not that we cannot be angry, we must be able to be angry. But our anger must be in accordance with God's will. This is what is called precise action, which is right. If we should be angry, but we are not angry, that is wrong. If we are angry, how do we express our anger? That is the first thing. Second, what is the temperature of our anger? So, if our behavior is still the same as the world, it means that something is not right. That's the reflection today. The Lord Jesus loves and blesses us.